Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakahakudash, Barakatum. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And peace and salutations to you, sincere Akiam out there, pushing this word and truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May you brothers endure until the end. This is the Brother Raya with another video, and I'm going to start it off in Psalms chapter 58, verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb, and the wicked are the border of wickedness. In Malachi 1, verse 4, the wicked whom the earth has been given into the hands of. In Job chapter 9, verse 24, the basest of men, the biblical Edomites, who are known as these so-called white people today, these Americans, the British the Europeans, the Russians, etc., etc. You're estranged from the womb. You're bastards from the womb. You were put aside by Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai and serve as nothing more than his sword to fulfill prophecy. And once you've reached your bounds of prophecy to fulfill, you're going to be taken out of power forever and then eventually permanently cold from this planet with fire. You do everything clean contrary to the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Hence, why this world is in the chaotic state that it's in right now. And as it also says, they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. You Edomites are the father of lies. Just look at your track record with the Gadites or the so-called Native American Indians. You broke your treaties that you made with them before slaughtering them and moving them off of their lands onto those reservations. And then more recently, you uh, American Edomites were allies with Saddam Hussein during his war against Iran in the 80s. And then look what you turned around and did to him in the early 90s. And then in the early 2000s, you made war against him, which eventually overthrew his government. And then we can't forget Muammar Gaddafi, who made concessions to you Edomites in the West to give up his nuclear program, and you turned around and overthrew his government, and Libya is in a much worse state now than it was when it was under him. As it says in Psalms chapter 55, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. But now I'm going to jump down to verse 6. Break their teeth, O power, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Yahweh, and a lion's teeth are his main form of uh, attack. And this is talking about these Edomites as military prowess. And what this is ultimately talking about is Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai taking control of Esau Edom in the United States of America's nuclear weapons launch systems and controlling them during World War III, causing the majority of them to fail so these other nations beginning with russia can shoot 200 million nuclear missiles onto this country turning it into the biblical lake of fire from sea to shining sea and then a desolate uninhabitable wasteland afterwards verse 7 let them melt away as waters which run continually this country being melted to nothing by those nuclear missiles when he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows, when he goes to shoot his nuclear missiles in retaliation of these other nations shooting their nukes onto America, let them be as cut in pieces, their teeth being broken, them being not being able to get off all of their nuclear missiles because America will get off some of their nuclear missiles onto these other countries but the damage they're gonna do is gonna be nothing compared to the complete and total destruction that these nations are gonna make of the United States of America with their nukes. But I opened up the video with these verses to preface a video from Quest TV's YouTube channel titled, It Was Definitely a UFO That Shut Down Our Missiles, Aliens Stop Nukes. And like I just said, Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai during World War III is going to take control of the Edomites in America's nuclear weapons systems and control them to the point to where they can't get off their nuclear missiles to uh, 
completely make a, destru a destruction of these other nations, like these other nations are gonna make a complete destruction of the United States when they shoot their missiles onto her, and how the Most High is gonna take control of uh, these American Edomites nukes is through the chariots, which people ignorantly refer to as so-called UFOs. And that's what we're gonna see in this clip, this Edomite recounting how uh, strange lights showed up in the skies over some of America's nuclear weapon sites and were able to shut off their ability to use their nukes. Now let's get into this video. And real quick, this is a fair use copyright disclaimer. I do not own any of the footage shown in this video, nor do I stand to gain from it monetarily. This is simply for educational purposes. Robert Salas served seven years in the Air Force, rising to the rank of captain. So tell me what happened. March 24, 1967, I and my commander, Fred Mywall, were on duty at Roy, Montana. And this happened back in 1967, just showing the complete control that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai has over everything on the planet Earth. We're all just puppets to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai fulfilling our roles in prophecy. And you Edomites didn't do anything of your own. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai gave you everything you have right now to again fulfill certain points in prophecy before taking you out. He gave you these nukes to give you that false sense of power just so you could destroy yourselves with your greatest weapons. As it says in the scriptures, he that liveth by the sword shall die by the sword. And it just so happens that in uh, Genesis 27, the blessing that Isaac gave Esau was the power of the sword. The men are stationed in the missile launch bunker, 20 meters below ground. We had control of 10 nuclear missiles. The Minuteman 1. Each missile had an 800 kiloton nuclear weapon. If ordered, it's Salas' job to launch the warheads. I was on alert status. In other words, my commander, Fred, was taking a little map break. Sometime in the early morning hours, we get a call. That is. There's a terrified guard stationed above the bunker. He's screaming into the phone. He's yelling, Sir, I'm looking at the front gate. I see a, this glowing red object. The strange red object is moving like nothing the guards have ever seen before. Flying very fast. And when a lot of brothers report seeing chariots in the sky, and I can attest to this myself, they do look like glowing orbs in the sky. Uh, across the sky, stopping on a dime, reversing course, making 90 degree angle turns. And the chariots aren't bound by our understanding of physics. They can do whatever they want, change to any color they want, any shape or size that they want, go in and out of dimensions, etc., etc. This is the heavenly technology of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Making no noise. These guys were very, very frightened. It was a critical situation. As fear spreads on the ground, things were about to get even more terrifying below. Salas wakes his commander and tells him the guard's report of a UFO above the base. Only when suddenly the unthinkable happens. The lights turn from green to red. In other words, red meaning unwatchable. Everything went red. All ten missiles were disabled. Every single one of them. So what does that mean? It means if we were given the order and if we had to go through our launch procedures, they couldn't be launched. Break the teeth of the young lions, O Yahweh, when he go to bendeth his bow and shoot his arrows. These American Edomites going to shoot their nuclear missiles, let him be cut into pieces, and then not being able to get off all the nuclear missiles that they want to. This was an 
inexplicable situation. The missiles down. America's nuclear shield is compromised. What's going through your mind when all this America's nuclear shield is compromised? What's happening? You know, I, I'm thinking we're under some sort of an attack. The Salah Center's commander desperately tried to get that missile back online. They're told that a week earlier, another missile launch crew at Marstrom Base reports seeing the same strange lights. And seconds later, their nuclear warheads also go offline. All ten of their missiles went down while a UFO was overhead. All ten of our missiles went down. The UFO was immediately over our facility. What did you think when you found out that this had happened not once, but twice? These were the most sophisticated weapons we had. And so it was worrying that something very unknown, very unusual, very strange. The most sophisticated weapons that Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai allowed you to have. ...could uh, disable them. Is this a coordinated attack by the same unidentified crime? Give us for on each one of them! In both cases, the weapons are out of action for nearly 24 hours. There's no way! So what did shut down the nuclear missiles at Marstrom Air Base? And why? This was extraterrestrial in nature. I honestly believe that. Point blank period, the chariots of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. So that's it with this video. And with this video, I hope your sincere Akim and Akwath were edified. As we can clearly see, we're almost out of this final wicked captivity of the heathen nations, chiefly the wicked, the Edomites. And as always, I'm going to say a bad babo, kwam yasharala, and until next time, shalom.